Engineers, planners, geologists, miners, and many other professionals work constantly, tirelessly, tenaciously, with precision and skill, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on one of the cross-border projects of this century, the Brenna Base Tunnel. All the different groups working on the construction sites and in the offices are like gears that mesh to drive this infrastructure project forward. Step by step, the tunnel is built like the steady ticking of clockwork. The Brenner Base Tunnel is the largest infrastructure project in Europe, as well as the longest underground railway connection worldwide. A goal Austria and Italy are working towards together is indeed a project uniting Europe. Once it is operational, the travel time for trains between Innsbruck and Fortezza will be significantly reduced. Travel time for passengers will be cut from 80 to 25 minutes. Both north and south of the Brenner Pass, this is an improvement for local residents and travellers. If you want to get past a mountain, there are two ways to get to the other side. Either by travelling over it, among many steep curves uphill and then downhill again, or going straight through it underground. The many people working on the Brenner Base Tunnel are busy building the direct underground railway connection between Innsbruck and Fortezza. An almost straight, flat railway tunnel, a base tunnel with a total length of 64 kilometers from the Tulfus portal to Fortezza. There are precisely 230 kilometers of tunnel tubes, two main tunnels for the tracks with a diameter of approximately 8 meters and a cross passage every 333 meters. Between those tunnels and 12 meters below is a third tunnel, the exploratory tunnel, with a 6 meter diameter. The exploratory tunnel is excavated first in order to learn about the nature of the rock and to find out exactly what type of rock should be expected. The four lateral access tunnels in Mulis, in Steinach am Brenner, in the Arental Valley and in Ampas are necessary to advance deep into the mountain and from there, from several points simultaneously, excavate the two main tunnels and the exploratory tunnel. At the beginning of 2022, 150 kilometers of tunnel tubes had already been excavated. In Fortezza, the southern entrance to the Brenna Base Tunnel has been clearly visible since 2018. In Innsbruck, the northern entrance is under construction in the Sill Gorge construction lot, including the connection to Innsbruck Station. Extensive rock protection work and slope removal are only part of the measures aimed at building a modern railway line here and improving an important local recreational area. A team of engineers, surveyors and geologists constantly monitor the behaviour of the rock mass. Nothing is left to chance. Construction management is an important pillar for safe and successful work state-of-the-art excavation methods are used. Environmental protection and sustainability are also taken into account. For instance, when passing under the Isarco River, near the southern entrance in Fortezza, the entire ground in the excavation area is frozen, so that the course of the river does not need to be rerouted. The ground is frozen with a rare procedure using liquid nitrogen. A saline solution keeps the ground frozen. In this way, the excavation below the river can be carried out safely. This procedure is highly demanding. High-tech machinery and technical expertise are needed to ensure that impact on nature is kept to a minimum. Focus on nature. Environmental impact assessments are the basic requirement for the project. In order to compensate for the short-term impact and repercussions, Accompanying environmental compensation measures will be implemented along the project area with local partners in compliance with the highest environmental standards during construction. 
For this, environmental experts and landscape designers are needed who can ambitiously and yet very sensitively restore a riverbed, such as the Mareite near Sterzing, create a biotope in the Kirche Au, design river courses that are suitable for fish, as in Navis, or on the Sill, where impassable obstacles for fish are dismantled, or create a small recreational oasis, the Tantigot Moor in Innsbruck. Sustainability is also a priority in the construction of the Brenner Base Tunnel. The two tunnel boring machines coming into play in Italy are called Virginia and Flavia. After logistically challenging transport and a no less demanding assembly in tight spaces inside the mountain, mobile tunnel factories between 200 and 400 meters long are created, which work their way through the mountain. In the depths of the TBM, precast concrete elements, the so-called tubbing rings, which arrive by train, are unloaded and transported forward. There, these are assembled into a ring. Even further ahead is the rotating cutting head, with its numerous drill bits cutting its way through the rock. In the control panel, the TBM operator plays very close attention to the direction and to the smooth implementation of the processes. Excavation, ring construction, moving the TBM forward, regular checks and maintenance work on the drill head and more excavation, ring construction, etc. The finished tunnel grows at a rate of up to 35 meters in 24 hours, depending on the composition of the rock. There are different types of tunnel boring machines depending on the type of tunnel construction to be carried out. For the exploratory tunnel section in Austria, an open gripper machine was used. The machine moved forward, propping itself on the side of the tunnel wall, and did not automatically install any precast concrete elements. The tunnel wall lining was carried out using shotcrete. Precast concrete elements were only installed on the ground as future track slabs. In 2017, this TBM achieved a world record achieving 61 meters within 24 hours. And 17 kilometers of exploratory tunnel were excavated on the Austrian side between 2015 and 2020. After a successful breakthrough in the arrival chamber in the neighboring Wolf construction lot, the drill head was used as an exhibit piece in the tunnel world in Steinach am Brenner. A crowd puller and a unique exhibit of European engineering. In the case of short tunnel sections, such as access tunnels, emergency stops and cross passages to be excavated, tunnel boring machines are not the best fit. Conventional methods are used in those cases, with drilling machines, explosives, excavator buckets, steel grills and shotcrete. Although heavy equipment supports the miners in their work, a lot of manual work is still required. The two large connecting tunnels on the Austrian side, which link the Inn Valley with the Vip Valley, were also excavated using blasting. Since there is right-hand traffic in Austria, but left-hand traffic in Italy, two tunnel tubes crossing over each other were built. This allows for a very uncomplicated crossover and does not require any complex switch control. Logistics is the be-all and end-all in tunneling, because the construction site in the tunnel can only be accessed through the tunnel that has just been built and usually only from one side. One day, high-speed trains will easily rush through here. Now, rail supply trains carrying people and materials still travel back and forth here to the tunnel boring machines to drive the construction forward. If no railbound vehicles are used, then so-called multi-service vehicles are used which are now self-driving, orienting themselves by the tunnel walls. Regardless of whether mechanical or conventional tunneling is used, the excavated material is removed on a conveyor belt system. Through the completed tunnel system and its own spoil tunnel, 
The crushed rock is carried for many kilometers directly to the disposal sites. One of them is located in Ica in South Tyrol, another in the Padaster Valley in North Tyrol. This means that not a single lorry journey through villages is necessary. Up to one third of the excavated material is recycled and used for concrete production. Everything else fits into the landscape, creates cultivable land, and turns a steep valley in Steinach into a recreational area. Just one more thing on the subject of safety. The contractor and construction company rely on numerous safety devices, such as self-sufficient escape containers, in which an entire excavation team is protected even against the greatest danger, fire and smoke, until rescue workers arrive. Regular exercises train both workers and rescuers. Elemental dangers are not the only peril in the mountain. Even an invisible virus can become a threat and requires safety plans for the best possible protection of all workers. Because a construction site of this size must not stand still. For local residents and other interested parties, however, many things remain invisible and hidden. All the more reason for us at BBTSE to focus on information and communication, organizing tunnel and construction site tours, setting up information centers and providing reports. Our commitment to fast, modern and efficient transport routes contributes to climate protection and promotes rail as the mobility of the future. Our work will benefit both local residents and the entire population of Europe for many generations to come.